Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking about Kamala Harris here really quickly in this whole like split decision, uh, stimulus check nonsense. This $1,400 check that they're going to give you, basically giving you the, back your own tax dollars and making you say thank you for it. In case you haven't caught on, I just slid my dick down your throat and you thanked me for it's your own money. They're buying you off, America. They're buying your silence. They're buying your cooperation by setting up a situation that puts you in financial dire straits, taking your own money, and then offering a piece of it back to you. You're welcome. That's basically what these stimulus checks are, okay? Let's just call it what it is. Now, we have this big tiebreaker. Let's write a narrative that makes Kamal Harris look useful and a big hero at the same time. She's going to break the tie. She's going to bring the Democrats and the Republicans together with her tiebreaker and save America. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. You guys, look at my dirty girl. And it's a load of crap. They're $1,400 check and other COVID aid, most of which, by the way, is going all over the freaking world because that's what they do. They write in all this extra stuff and they make a book about that thick that nobody's going to read until it's too late. And then money gets thrown all over the freaking world. And there's no money. We're in debt. So that means there's no money. Where are they going to get it from? Where are they going to get it from? You know where they're going to get the money from. But aren't all of these really close decisions the least bit suspicious to anybody besides me? I mean, really? Every race, uh, every race for Senate, every vote, every important vote for the last couple of years at least... It's so close. It's so close. And it's not supposed supposed to feel scripted. It's not supposed to feel like a narrative, like it's been set up. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this entire stimulus package vote was scripted to turn out that way. I would not be surprised in the least bit. It makes me think of a film. I cannot remember the name of the movie. Maybe somebody out there saw this film and they can chime in in the comment section. It was a Supreme Court vote. And they sat there and they said, okay, um, whose turn is it to vote like this? Uh, you vote this and you vote this and I'll take this and you, you split the decision. And the guy's like, why do I have to do it again? Because the whole thing was scripted. I cannot remember the name of the film. If I can remember it, I'll put it in the, in, I'll, I'll put it in, in the box. I, I don't know if I can recall. I saw it a long time ago. But are we supposed to believe that it keeps happening that way? That everything is so close, everything's a split, and now we need tiebreakers too to try to make her look useful? <laughs> Come on. Are we supposed to be this naive? Or is it that we've gotten to the point where they don't care anymore what we think? that they don't have to hide this anymore. Something I did a video on a couple of weeks ago, probably the most important video I've done, not that anyone will see it, because I get a warning with every video I put up that it's unsuitable. ScrewTube thinks that these conversations are unsuitable for viewers. It's unsuitable for you to think for yourself. Let that sink in. But the governments of the world just... Uh, summarizing that other video, that other point. The governments of the world are at a point, or getting to the point, we're very close here, where they no longer need to pretend that you have freedom, liberty, or choices. They don't have to pretend anymore. They have so much power. Generations and generations of people have given away so much power and authority to these governments. So they have so much power and they have so much information and access to so much information through modern technology 
and access to all of your your funds, your money. They, they can access your bank account. They can access your paychecks. They can do whatever they want. They can take away your property, take away your liberty, put you in jail. All someone has to do, the right lawmaker signs a piece of paper and your life is over. They have so much authority and so much power and so much knowledge they're fast approaching a point by which they do not need to pretend anymore. That's a very dangerous place to be. Are you ready to be in that position? And granted, there are a lot of people that buy in. There, there are a lot of people that believe the narratives, like what I was talking about. Split decision, seriously. Giving you back your own money and making you say thank you for it. After they arranged it so that you would be screwed in the first place. All these businesses that are shutting down, they're not shutting down because of a virus. They're shutting down because of the restrictions imposed around the virus. Allegedly to protect you. But is it? And protect you from what? What really? Can anyone truly answer that question who's not getting paid to, uh, to answer? There's too much going on and it's happening too quickly. But granted, again, like I was saying, there's a lot of people... They believe it. They believe what they're told. They believe the narrative. And there's more people even who don't. I think most people really don't believe it, but they're afraid to speak up. Why? Because in the back of their minds, in their subconscious, they know that all the power, all the authority is somewhere else. So how do you fight it? How do you fight it when you can be penalized for opening your mouth? even though allegedly you have freedom of speech. You really kind of don't. You have to be very careful. I have to be careful. I should be careful anyway. I, I, I try to speak my mind here when I do these videos, but again, I'm constantly getting warnings from ScrewTube for my content as being unsuitable for viewers, for speaking my opinion. I don't cuss at you. I don't tell you to do anything. I don't threaten you. I don't tell you to go out and hurt anybody, but I'm a threat. Uh, according to their, to their bots, I'm a threat because, again, I doubt anyone from uh, YouTube has ever actually seen one of my videos. But they don't want you to think for yourself. And, granted, a lot of people out there, they don't want to think for themselves. Thinking implies you may have to actually do something. And people are lazy. So what do you think? What do you think about that? Do you do you think that there really was a split decision? I'm not buying it. I, I, I believe that there was a script for it. That they sat there and said, how are we going to do this? And how can we shoehorn uh, Harris in here and make a hero out of her for if and when we have to, like, shuffle old Joe out of here? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where I'm coming from. Share it if you can. Probably the only way it'll get seen. Even my subscribers, a lot of them don't get alerts anymore. I get messages like that in the comment section all the time. If you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. And what more can I say? But stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.